Welcome to vlog number 14. This is going to cover pretty much the last six to seven days of training. Starting with Friday last week. Um, we were away to Connacht, so we're staying in the Radisson Blue Hotel, which is a very nice hotel if you've ever been in the area. The very well equipped weight room as well for a hotel gym. They had a rack, as you can see, enough weight probably to do 250, 260 kg. And um, what I was doing here, I had done front squats previously. Uh, there's no real facility to the deadlift, so what I was doing, I was trying to mimic deadlift by doing back squat for three, and then after the third rep, rack it, and then go straight away and perform 20 reps of dumbbell swing or kettlebell swing with the 32 kilo kettlebell. Um, anyone, any kind of kettlebell aficionado will probably be able to tell you that's probably not the best kettlebell swing form. I'm just kind of having a go. Um, to try and replicate some deadlift training. I fell in the, the muscle, say, similar sort of muscle groups to the deadlift, so I think it achieved something, if not the, the exact thing I wanted, but I've got some lower back hamstrings and glute work in, which is always a good thing. Um, Monday this week, I performed the box squat, RDL, handstand press-up and pull-up circuit. It was pretty tough, went up to 160 kilos on the box squat and the RDL. Yesterday I did uh, the no hand safety squat bar, safety squat bar, squat. I did it with no um, no circuit, so just on its own, no hands, 160 for six, and then a walk bike and upper body circuit for some cardio. And um, this is today's session, which we finished. Started off with uh, warmed up, and then we went 180 kilos for three three on the squat, and a bit messy form, lower back kind of losing a little bit at the bottom which is kind of surprising because I'm doing a lot more flexibility and mobility at the minute and weirdly as I went heavier my form got better just to be honest with you it tends to be the case 210 felt easier than 180 just because I stayed tight through the movement and this is 230 I'm going to play this twice we'll talk about it a, talk about it a little bit and um, death row I can tell is good and um, you see my position is real nice still got that kink though and as I get leaner which <laughs> Let's hope it's the case. That kink's gonna become more and more of an issue. That kink on the way up, kind of where I'm bowing over, that's where the belt helps me immensely. So if I can either get rid of that kink and by squatting without the belt and working out my form, get my rhythm right, learn how to brace properly or, or something, hopefully that'll help a lot. And then chuck the belt on and get even more juicy gains. And this is 230, it's probably the easiest I've scored a 230 ever I think with no belt and I don't have many videos of me squatting 230 with no belt but from earlier in December if you follow this and um, they were certainly much more difficult than that one in particular so yeah so apparently my beltless squat has went up from what I can tell from performing and conditioning and circuit training and eating a lot of food <laughs> at buffets so maybe not uh, this is sumo deadlift from a 25 kilo plate so I guess I two inch block pretty easy and um, that part of my sumo that's difficult as is with everyone's sumo is off the floor I really think I can use my overhand grip like I'm using in this video it feels really nice it feels like a real good movement as soon as I start trying to use mixed grip it feels like shit I, I did do mixed grip up to 200 so I did 200 for three threes and then 200 for 220 for single 240 for single what you're watching now um, but as soon as I put the straps on it feels ludicrously easy when compared to mixed grip so I'm either going to need to look at a hook grip for competition or start training with um, a different mixed grip than I'm used to hopefully get through it and for bench press I went 120 kilos for three threes and then 150 for a single 170 for a single all paused everything on the bench and the shoulder felt pain free 120 felt really nice 150 felt good, no hand out, and then 170, it wasn't painful, but there was a little bit of strain, which I suppose for a heavier lift is to be expected. And plans for the rest of the week, tomorrow I'm going to go front squat with some cardio and some upper body assistance, and then Friday, we'll see how I'm feeling, I might dip with the wick again, and go for some more heavier lifting, maybe some conventional deadlift possibly, and don't want to rush in too fast with the um, with the heavy deadlifting plenty of time for that yet and then starting as, as of next week I'm going to go to six times a week just straight up strength training I'll keep the cardio in and 
on the variation day. So I'm just going to go normal barbell variations, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday probably, and then or Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, whichever works out best. And I'm going to go with um, variations on the Tuesday, the Thursday, and the Saturday, or the Monday, Wednesday, and the Friday. So it'll be front squat, safety squat bar, box squat, chain squat, band squat, whatever. I'll just cycle variations in and out as I go, just whatever suits me. And uh, keep all the training sub-maximal. Um, looking at meets, I'm thinking the Scottish Central Championships are being held in Dundee in April. That's a bit further out than I would like, but that's looking likely to be my first competition of this year. I might have a look around if anyone knows of any competitions close to Edinburgh or maybe in the north of England. I'm not too keen on travelling. There is one in February in Dumfries, which is too far for me, to be honest. I just want to get back on the platform and post a, a non-competitive easy total just to give me somewhere to work from for the rest of the year. Um, that's enough jibber-jabber. This is Mark, castironstrength.com, signing off. Until next time, thanks very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the funky intro music and the, the outro and the continue intro and the entire thing. I'll cut this bit out. Bye. I'll cut this bit out.